Hey guys, what's happening? So if you've been watching my channel, uh, you know I've been looking for an extra card to put in here in this spot. Right there. So if you haven't not familiar, this is my 3D printed mining rig here. But uh, yeah, I was actually looking for another 1660 Super. And uh, found an offer up. Pretty good deal. Uh, 380 bucks. Um, yeah, it's actually a pretty, de pretty decent deal because... I mean, even like new retail, they're like 550, 600 bucks. Um, I originally bought this one at Micro Center for about, uh, it was like probably like around 300, a little less than 300. Bought this one off or up for a little bit over 300. That's a Tough Gaming. That's a Asus uh, Rog Strix. That's a 3070. But uh, now even the 37 I bought for like 700, 800 bucks, I can't remember. But it was before it went totally crazy. I mean, it was already scalped at 800, but then it went totally crazy. But that even just finding 3060s now are, are a total headache because, you know, um, finding the ones that, that aren't uh, LHR, low hash rate, are, are super headache to find. So they're all snatched up and gone. So let me show you what I got real fast. I got a, actually it's a really nice, it's actually the nicest 1660 Super I've ever seen. Um, but I'll take it apart, I'll take it to my, my test bench and I'll take it apart. We'll open the box up and take a look at it. But it's actually the uh, 3 Fan Edition 1660 Super. Um, but I'll, I'm going to open it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so here it is. It's actually the 3 fan version. And the benefit of the 3 fan version is typically it has a larger heat sink. So right now it's winter time. It's not really a problem because everything's cool and cold. But when it comes to summertime, you know I mean? Having the extra heat sink definitely helps out a lot. The fans will run at a lower speed because they, they can cool better. Um, so yeah, you don't typically see a lot of 1660 Supers with this much heat sink and fan. Uh, because the 1660 is more of like a lower end card. Um, it was never like a 1080 Ti or something like that, you know. But it was always kind of considered more of like a lower end card. Um, so yeah. So if you're not familiar, the 1660 Super is just basically uh, a, a 1060 um, with like a faster clock, and the memory is faster. It's GDR6 memory versus GDR5 memory, so you can get more hash rate out of it. So I, I'm expecting to get probably about 30 mega hash out of this. Is that like a I don't know, but um, yeah, about 30 mega hash and um, probably about, I'm hoping maybe I mean, under 60 watts uh, because my other ones are getting pretty good hash or good, good power consumption. Um, so this would be equivalent to like an AMD, maybe like an X or RX 6600, which is about the same kind of like a watt per hash rate. Um, but actually, I already have a lot of AMD stuff. I have four RX 5700s. And uh, six uh, RX 580s, but the problem is I, I stopped buying AMD stuff because this is definitely uh, so. Like when Ethereum 2.0 goes away, this is going to give me more versatility, you know, with with different mining algorithms. Whereas like AMD stuff right now would be like Ravencoin, and you know, I'll say change the, the the miners, you know, to to mine different things. But I, I think versatility wise, I think the a Nvidia stuff is probably better going forward. You know, once Ethereum 2.0 goes away. So, all right, I'm going to put it, uh, grab an air riser, throw it in my uh, mining rig, and we'll go into high OS and take a look at it. It looks very similar to my 37 right there. Fans a little bit smaller, though. I right, got this thing fired up. And fans are going off. But uh, I, I'm going to go back into high OS, apply a flight sheet to it, and uh, do some fixed cork lock settings. All right, so we're back in Hive OS here, and as you can see, now I have four cards. Uh, okay, so take a look here. So what's funny is the, the order kind of switched around a little bit, but this is the, the Gigabyte card. Um, this is the, uh, where was it? The uh, This is the Asus Tough Gaming, and this is the actual Asus uh, Rock Strix. Um, so I tried to modify these to get them so they're as close as possible, mega hash rate. So you have, you know, 3069, 3069, 3066. But as you can see, I have different settings to kind of get them the same. So it's almost like the silicon lottery. I mean, every single card is different. Uh, the amount of power consumption and hash rate you can get out of it. Um, so far, the best card that I've actually have so far, if it's truly accurate reading, is the uh, Tough Gaming. You know, when it comes to like 55 watts and around 30 mega hash. So I'm running a uh, fixed core clock at 1050. Um, that actually, that lowers power consumption, the fixed core clock. And then my memory, I'm running at 1600. 1600, uh, these are both micron memory here. 
So the new the new card that I just got is Micron Memory, and then Samsung Memory. So as you can see, to get the same mega hash rate, we're very close to it. Fourteen hundred on this one, sixteen hundred on this one. So the memory are a little bit different, but um, I, I mean, I figured this this new card, this three fan card, would take up more power, just because you have a third fan to spin around. Um, but I didn't think it take should take up that much uh, power. So the Rock Strix, sixty five, seventy nine. Um, but all right, I mean, not the not the best card, not the most power efficient card, but uh, I mean, you get what you can get, man, because there's hardly any supply. I mean, I mean, I got this thing for three eighty, and I mean, these things are crazy expensive right now. Even like if you go to like uh, Newegg, Newegg is like six hundred bucks, like five fifty, six hundred dollars for a sixteen sixty super. I mean, I was getting that a year ago at Micro Center for like less than three hundred, two fifty, three hundred. You know, for the, my Rock Strix was like probably low, under three hundred. Um. But yeah, so going. I'm actually looking at a couple more on offer up. Um, even a couple of broken cars I might have to fix. But all right, I'm trying to build this thing, you know, because like I said, the more expensive these things are, it's the longer it's going to take to return on investment. You know, I mean, I don't want to have to wait two years. Like if I were to buy a car right now, like six hundred bucks, I mean, that would probably take me over a year or more to to start actually going in the green. Um. So, all right, guys. Cool. Have fun. Awesome.